Pro-democracy campaigners in Hong Kong have been able to watch live coverage of formal talks which have got underway, but Chinese TV is only showing the faces of government officials, not student leaders. The territory's chief executive has admitted that the election process at the centre of the dispute could be made more democratic. His comments are being seen as the first signs of possible concessions. We all realise that the first meeting can't solve all the problems, he says. But it's a good start to have a dialogue. The government will listen to the opinion of the Hong Kong Federation of Students with the greatest sincerity. The protesters denounce plans whereby candidates for the 2017 election must be vetted by a large committee they fear will be stuffed with Beijing loyalists. But there are signs some are prepared for some give and take. I think we all understand that we can't really get any concrete results, but at least an open dialogue can tell everybody why we're all here. At least talking is the first step. I think both sides have to compromise, but I don't want students to compromise too much, as we want to fight for democracy and genuine universal suffrage. Possible talks on changes to the process are not expected immediately. For the thousand or so protesters camped out near government headquarters, an early breakthrough appears unlikely.